Weird thing is, on December 21st, we are 1.5 million kilometers closer to the sun. So it's not a perfect circle, but it's pretty close. So for the sake of argument, if it is a circular orbit, we got a radius. And the radius is right here. And that radius is pretty much what the Earth does in its orbit as the Earth goes around from December 21st back to December 21st, taking 365 days to do it. If it's circular motion, then it is a centripetal motion. So gravity is causing the Earth to move in a centripetal fashion. So circular orbit means centripetal motion. So what I'm trying to say is, therefore, F gravity is causing the F centripetal. And that has a whole bunch of implications. F gravity, if you get off of Earth, and you're talking about anywhere in space, you have to use the bigger equation, GMM over D squared, and that equals the centripetal force, which is M D squared over R. Okay, guys, GMM over D squared. The D is between the center of the sun and the center of the Earth. So in this case, the radius of the orbit of Earth around the sun actually equals the distance between the center of the sun all the way to the center of the Earth. So you could say, hey, in this situation, GMM over R squared is equal to M V squared over R. And in fact, this is G, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 newton meter squared per kilogram squared, like we talked about last year. This M here is the mass of the sun. This little m is the mass of the Earth. It's the thing that's in orbit. And it's on both sides of the equation. So it doesn't matter whether it's the Earth or Jupiter. It'll still follow the same equation. And if I multiply this side by R to get rid of this one, and I multiply this side by R, one of these guys is gone. So you end up getting an equation that looks like this. G M over R is equal to V squared. And if you just go one step further, you can say, okay, well then root G mass of the sun over the radius is equal to the orbital speed or orbital velocity. So the orbital speed that the Earth is going around the sun is equal to the root G, which is that universal gravitation constant we talked about last year, the mass of the sun divided by the distance between the center of the sun and the center of the Earth. So what I want you to do right now is calculate what is the speed of the Earth going around the sun. And I'll, I have to give you some information. Okay, ready? So here's the info. Mass of the sun is equal to 1.98 times 10 to the 30 kilograms. It's big. In fact, it's about a million times heavier than here. G from last year, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. It's Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. But if you use all of these in their correct units, then don't worry about these. They'll all work out. They'll cancel out. So keep it in kilograms, meters, and seconds. And then the radius, the distance between the center of the sun, the center of the Earth, is, and I had to get this from a book, 1.50 times 10 to the 11 meters. And you now have enough information to find out what the speed of the Earth is going around the sun. So can you guys do that? Please.
Okay, check your answers with your partner. Anybody else? That's almost 30 kilometers per second. Okay, great. Thanks, Nick.